Welcome back to the Delaware Way. We continue our conversation with Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester. I want to talk about some issues that are in the news right now. For instance, North Korea. If Donald Trump, first of all, you have to give him the credit for it first, but if Donald Trump deserves some of the credit, and you can answer that too, for denuclearizing, which is a possibility, the, the Korean Peninsula, would he deserve the Nobel Peace Prize? You know, I, I've never been involved in selecting a Nobel <laughs> I Peace that. Prize winner. But um, what I can say is that I, I, like many Americans, have throughout the course of this year been concerned about the, the stability or lack of stability in some of our conversations with global partners. Okay. And so, you know, I think anybody would feel good if we could see peace there, peace in the Middle East, you know, there are those, those areas. But part of what we're missing are real comprehensive um, understandings of what is, our, what is our plan. For example, one of the concerns that we have in Congress is the authorized use of military force and the ability for what, what our role is versus what the administration's role is. And this is not just a, a Trump issue, this has been multiple presidents. It's sort of like, what's the role of Congress in these conversations? Didn't you give the president that power in the War Powers Act? So, so there's the War Powers Act, there's the, the, the authorization, there's what's in the Constitution, and then there's the, the, the act. For the, the, it's very limited what is, like for the authorized use of military force that the president is using for some of these actions in our past presidents, it was limited. It wasn't to be broad like this. And so part of what we've asked to do is go back and update the authorized use of military force. You don't see any uh, national security emergency in that action? Well, so even, even Syria, think about it. Or is there a threat to our home? Some people would say the issue is, is there, it's a moral issue for some people. It's a st strategic issue for some people. The issue is we don't have a, a plan or a frame of reference. We don't know what the plan is. That's a bigger issue. And then when you talk about North Korea and South Korea, I think, um, you know, Kim, Mr. Kim Jong-un has, um, we're not sure about how, um, how much we can trust him. So I think I'm, as I mentioned before, I'm a pragmatic optimist. Um, I get optimistic when I see opportunities for peace, when I see opportunities for demilitarization, um, but I'm pragmatic as well. And so I think we need to pay attention, we need to see what happens as a result of it, but I also think that there is a role for Congress. You know, one of the reasons also why I ran is because, and, and some even said, you know, why would you even attend some, some, some of the major events like the inauguration? feel it's my role, number one, to represent. It's about representation. It doesn't mean you agree when you That's attend. Right. It's you, because That's right. you're going to be sitting with people all the time that That's you disagree right. with. That's right. L let me stay on the international uh, front mm -hmm. for a second and talk about the uh, Iranian nuclear deal uh, and, and the fact that the President Trump is talking about mm -hmm. pulling out of that. Mm -hmm. um, I always, when, when I hear that possibly happening, I think, what does North Korea must think? Right. If they're going to enter into a deal with us and we're pulling out of a deal, exactly. how, how solid are our deals? Exactly. That, that is actually one of the, the, you know, the things that we said to the president, that you know, it's sort of like your word is your bond. If on something as big as this we would consider pulling out, that speaks for, for us as a country. And we've recently had um, Macron come to Congress and speak. And he, we've had people from Great Britain, we've had a lot of folks in the international community say to us, don't pull out of this. This is too important. The same is true with the, the Paris Climate Accord, you know. And, and even when you look at issues of trade, um, right now, I think what people want to see is some stability. You know, it's one of the things I heard when they polled uh, our, our country, a lot of people say the most important thing to them is some stability. And when you look at all these different areas of the world, um, we don't see that right now. I was an international relations major in college, and um, even when I ran, I had these three Ps that I was concerned about. One was purpose, people being able to live their purpose, which is why the workforce development stuff is so important. You know, the second P was the planet, 
If we don't have a planet, this is all a moot point. And the last was peace. You know, I, I believe we can get there, but I think it starts at home. Let, let's come back home for one second because you were critical of mm -hmm. the tax cuts and you mm -hmm. said you saw uh, bad things happening for Delaware. Mm -hmm. Tax cuts right now, when they poll it, have become popular and it seems to at least have had a positive effect. It's interesting you should say that. I think it all depends on your poll, right? I think for some people, it, it's kind of like it happened and now they moved on, right? I had four areas that I was looking at when I looked at trying to make a decision. Uh, first of all, we did a teletown hall meeting and we had 11,000 Delawareans call into that teletown hall, which was incredible. I had four things that I was looking for. One, they said it was going to be simplified. You'd be able to do your taxes on a card. Is it more simple? The second thing I looked at was fairness. Are we giving uh, you know, tax breaks not just to the rich, but are we really looking at fairness for everybody. Another area that I was looking at was growth. Did it create growth in our economy? Which the predictions are, uh, it's not predicted to create the amount of growth that we thought, but some places are doing better, better yeah. than others. And then the last piece that I was looking at was the debt and the deficit. I yeah. told you I'd save the politics for yeah. last, and we'll have one last segment okay. when we'll talk a little bit about politics with Congressman Lisa Blunt Rochester. We'll be right back.